Hi everybody, today we're going to look at rectilinear shapes or rectilinear figures. Why are they called this? Well, in math, there's almost never a time where something you learn is completely new. In order to have common sense when it comes to things, you have to have hands-on experience and then build on that. So you think about, you have to look at, what do I already know? Well, I know what a shape is, right? A shape is some sort of figure or form, like this here. This is a shape. Then you see here, hmm, linear. I see the word line in it. Well, guess what? This has a line segment here. This is a line segment here. This is a line segment here. There are a bunch of line segments in this one. Then you see the part rect, just like rectangle. This is a rectilinear figure. This is a 3D model of it. So if I put it down, you see just the length and the width. This here is a pictorial representation. It would be even better to do it on graph paper if you're still learning how to do rectilinear figures. This is what you'll a lot of times see in a test after you've already done the concrete model and the pictorial representation, the pictures the presenting it in a different way. Listen carefully to the words that I say. Pictorial has pictures, representation, presenting again. Okay, so this one here is not the one that we just did. This is a different problem where you're trying to solve for a different number. A lot of times we see rectilinear figure problems in a book, on a worksheet, in a math test. You'll see something like this where it'll show you some of the numbers. It'll show you that the top is two, It'll show you that the side, this side is 2, this side is 5, and then they'll want you to solve for here and here. And a lot of kids have negative self-talk and say, I don't get this. I can't do this. Teachers, parents, don't say, yes, you can. Please don't. A pessimist won't believe you, and you'll lose credit from them. Instead, if you ask, well, what do you know about this shape? Well, in a rectangle, in a rectangle, the top and bottom are always what? The top and bottom are always equal. The two sides are always what? They're always equal. So if you know that this is five, and you know that this part covers up two, then that means the uncovered part has to be what? Two plus Two plus what equals five? The three. If you snap this together, you can feel how a rectilinear figure can have more than one rectangle in it. You can see different colors if you want to make them out of different colors. I highly recommend using something such as math cubes, math tiles, um, cutting out graph paper that has the bigger squares and cutting them, uh, coloring them in different colors or printing them on different colored paper. So you're putting the two different rectangles together so you can feel one rectangle plus another rectangle equals this. This helps us then solve. If this is two and this is five, then this is one, two, three. If this is five, this is two, two, three, four, five, that's three. That helps you solve the missing link. If you're looking at this and you're one of those hands-on learners and you think, I don't get it, that means it's time for you to take a breath and ask yourself, what do I have that is either a square or a cube that I can do to build these shapes? Do I need to cut some out to build it? Can I use some other tools? If you're going to be cutting, make sure you have permission um, and make sure that you're using safe tools to do that.